Hey everybody, what's going on? Ruben, Texas, All Water Fishing. Thanks for coming back. I'm out here today with my son, Christopher. And we were on our way to fish off the seawall, fish some rock groins, but we received word that the, the, water wa was low. the water was extremely low. The tide is out, the water is low. So we took a quick detour. We are over here at the Texas City Dyke. We stopped, bought some live shrimp, and we're gonna try our luck out here for a little while. And then we're gonna kind of just play it by ear. I'm not too sure if we're gonna head it to the seawall or not, but I definitely know we're gonna try to hook up out here today. Yeah. But thanks coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Chris? Yeah. Hold it. Oh. All right, so we're gonna start up on top water with some corks. So we got this coastal, coastal cork right here. A little treble hook, about a foot of leader line. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook through the head of the shrimp right here, missing any of that darker stuff, any of that important stuff. And now Christopher is good to go with that. There you go, bud. Thank you. Let him go. There you go. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with mine. Hook him through the head. No big deal. Climb on these rocks and see when we give ourselves a first cast. It doesn't hurt them. It doesn't hurt them. They feel a slight pressure. Come on, Chris. Right. Now flip the bell. Watch what you're doing. Watch where your line's at. All right. Going to cast. There you go. That's good enough. It's in the water. <clears throat> All right. So this other technique that we're going to use, this other way that we're going to set up our, our other rig is that we have a split shot on here. We have a split shot right here and then we got about a foot of line, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader line and a treble hook. Also have a little swivel connecting from my main line to my leader line just to give that little bit more play for the bait to move. We're going to try here nothing on the top water nothing on that court that mid water collar so caught them column so we're gonna switch it up and see if we can get a a bite on bottom or at least Christopher is so we're gonna hook the fish the shrimp through the head and We'll let him cast this one. Keep coming. See, he was on, and then he went into the rocks. He went to the rocks. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Bring it to me. Bring that's me the line. Why. There you go. There that's you go. Why. Got a little baby little croaker. Oh. What'd you say? Is that is that a baby or is that just how it looks? They're small. There's I mean croakers are small fish. They'll get bigger, but. It's just a little croaker. There you go. Grab, grab him. Hold him up. Let me see. Hold him up. There you go. Good job, bud. I didn't know I had one. So he ran into that rock. Give it a chunk back in. Chunk him. There you go. That's good bait. Yep. All right. So that's gonna be a wrap out here at the dike. You know, it's just hang up after hang up, and the water is like very dark. We're not seeing a whole lot of movement. No water movement. We're seeing a lot of mullet, but, you know, that's it. So, you know what? We're just going to, I'm not too sure where we're going to go. We're going to go to the seawall. I'm going to put eyes on it and see what it looks like, and then just kind of go from there. But, yeah, so, quick update. We are moving. You didn't know? I seen them fighting. How do you even know? What is that? Bring it up. It Bring it up to you. That's a uh, croaker. See? There you go. Oh, 
what happened to what? That's what. All right. Throw it in. All right. Swim, my pretty sweat. There you go, buddy. Pinfish. That's a nice big old pinfish right there. What you think? Is it a good one? Yep. I, I just saw it because I saw the blood. There it goes. Come on. There it goes. There you go, buddy. That's a big one. You have to get them right where my hands are. You get them right here. Get them right there. There you go. Now you see, hold them up. Alright, man. Let's go on and chuck them. He has a nice drum, buddy. Man, I should have said it before. I thought I got on the rocks. Yeah, he's a dirty boy. He can't mm -hmm. see nothing. All right, go ahead and swim back. All right. Oh, man. Dude, so they the water. That's a nice sheep head, man. There you go, buddy. Good job. Oh, oh, oh we got off. That's all right. That was a good one, though. There you go, bud. Give me, give me some. Give me some. There you go. Good job, buddy. Dang. That was a nice fish. So that's gonna do it today. You know, Christopher and I came out. We first hit the Tech City Dyke. It caught one little fish, just tired of getting hung up out there. So we quickly went and hit up Seawall. We knew it was gonna be flat today. It looked like the water was gonna turn green looking at yesterday's water versus today. It was gonna be a little clearer, but it wasn't. Around the rock groins, and that happens a lot around the rock groins. Yeah, it stays a little dirty. It stays a little dirty. You get a lot of that settlement that gets stirred up around there, but it was completely flat. Today would have been a great day to go further down the, the coast and do a little bit of weight fishing. Yep, do some weight fishing, but we just weren't ready for that. But next time, I think when the surface flat like that, I think we're just gonna go ahead and, and get, get in the water. We're gonna weight fish. But thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Christopher, any final words? Uh, bye. Oh, and also, please like and subscribe and hit the notif notification bell button. Yeah, everything he said. Yeah. Thanks. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Bye.